How's it going true gamers? In today's video a 200 hour grind finally comes to an end and we claim our 7th pet on the account. I also have some clips of me getting some more levels and getting our total level up. I'm going to throw those on screen now and I really hope you guys enjoy it. Alright, let's get into it. 4500 and sadly no Irby so we're going to keep going. 5,000 kill count. Wubba lubba dub dub. There it is. 5,500 kill count at Herbivore. And we gotta be closing in on Irby now. Let's go. 92 prayer from our daily Ectophuntus run. Let's go. That puts us at 2245 total level. Look at that. 400 mil total. That is a milestone. Let's go. Let's go. 6,000 kill count, and we gotta get that Irby soon. Let's go! Blood Shard, finally! 5,900 later, dude. Let's go. And we actually get two because we have the full rogues outfit on. That's another one marked off the collection log. 6,500 kill count at Herbivore, which means we've officially hit the drop rate for Irby. 7,000 kill count at Herbivore. Hey, 7,500 kill count. Hey, 91 smithing, and that puts us at 2,246 total. Let's go. 8,000 kill count at Herbivore. 8,500 kill count at Herbivore. Come on out, Irby. 9,000 kill count at Herbivore. And Irby is officially a pro at hide and go seek, but we're gonna find him soon. Hey, 9,500 kill count. And there it is, 10,000 kill count, putting us officially past one and a half times dry. Let's hope we don't hit two times dry. 10,500 kill count. 11,000 kill count at Herbivore. Let's keep going. Oh my god! Oh my god! 11,283 laps! Let's go! Oh my god, bro! 200 hours later, man! Oh my god, I was hoping to get Irby by 99, and I end up getting it at 34.77 million XP. Oh my god. Whew. Well, now that we have Irby, we can finally go use all of the fossils we managed to save up along the way on the mycelium pool right here and get some quick prayer XP. And as you can see, we've got a lot of fossils, so let's get into it. All right, now that we got our stacks of calcite and pyrophosphite, let's go ahead and use the hopper. And all you're gonna do is add all of your identified, add the calcium, add your phosphite, fill it up. Then add all of your unidentified fossils. And now, just start popping bubbles. It helps to run back to the middle here uh, in between pops so that you don't accidentally miss one if it spawns on the opposite side you're standing on. So that's a good tip as well while you're popping these bubbles. All right, and there we go. And then you'll get this description in your chat box. The chemical process in the pool is finished and you should now transfer the contents into the rinsing pool. So we're gonna go over here and open the sluice gate. Sluice gate. And check our rinsing pool. And boom, there are all of our fossils. Now, we just go over here, use the mushroom. Magic mushroom. Teleport to the house on the hill. And now we're just gonna use all of our fossils, our enriched fossils, on the strange machine right here. And we're about to get some juicy prayer XP. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this with the rest of all of our fossils 
and we'll see how much prayer XP we get at the end. Let's get into it. Let's go! 93 prayer, and that puts us at 2247 total. Hey! 94 prayer, which puts us at 2248 total. And there it is, our final fossil used on the strange machine, which gave us a total of 533 small fossils, 273 medium, 216 large, and 55 rare fossils. So even though we didn't have the best RNG at Irby, we had crazy rare fossil RNG. But now that we're all finished up at Herbivore finally and claimed our seventh pet officially, I'm going to go head back to Guardians of the Rift to finish off 99 room crafting and hopefully finish off the collection log there. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace out guys.